Do you want more views on your YouTube videos? YouTube is a combination of social media and video sharing site. I'm Brighton West and today I'll show you how you can use the comment section to increase interaction with your audience and drive more views to your videos. Let's start with why do you want to reply to comments. First, having comments shows interest and YouTube likes that. And if you interact with comments, you're likely to get more comments. Second, it's social proof. It shows new viewers that you're popular and replying shows them that you're engaged and you're likely to reply to them. Third is SEO. Words and comments count towards SEO for a video. So if you have a video about bananas and all the comments mention bananas, you'll rank better for the word bananas. Fourth, it's the right thing to do. People left a comment on your video, you should reply. So let's jump on over to YouTube. So here we are on my YouTube channel and like all great things, when you're a creator, you start by going to the upper right hand corner, clicking on your icon and then creator studio. And then you'll head over to the community section and the first thing that pops up is going to be comments. So this is a list of all the comments that are being made on your channel. So I'll start just by going down one by one. And if you've got a relatively large channel, you'll do this a little bit differently. So I'm gonna do this for smaller channels first and then I'll get to larger channels. If you're a smaller channel, you should just be replying to everything. Well, now that I say that, maybe not things like sub and I'll sub back or rude comments or things that have nothing to do, spam, things like that. Sub and I'll sub back. I'm not gonna reply to this. I'm not interested in that. This guy asked a question, why when I try to log in, it's saying null, and I would look at this and try to figure out how to answer his question. However, he's got his settings on YouTube set to a privacy setting where I can't reply. You'll see here that I can reply to most of these videos, but to this one, I can't reply. Um, so I'm going to just skip that comment. Here we go, we've got nice video about my no harsh shadows video. So I'm just gonna hit reply and uh, thank them for that answer. And let's see, you're going down. Wow, that was very useful, thanks. This is about my YouTube channel trailer. Sometimes when they click on certain videos, I'm gonna go out and see if they actually followed through on that. And in this case, I'm not sure if this is really a YouTube channel trailer. Um, but I might go in and take a look and make a comment specifically on their, uh, how they worked with what I did. I am just going to say, you're welcome and move on to the next one. So essentially I do this every few days, go through and reply to each of the comments, see if there's some, something I can add a value, see if their channel is interesting, see what they're up to and kind of create that community section. Now, if you have a lot of videos that are getting a lot of comments, you should do things slightly different. And what I would recommend is going to all videos and this lists your videos uh, in the order that they're most recent first. Um, so you might go in and say, okay, well, this is the video that I posted this week. And you know, some YouTubers have a, a rule of, you know, say replying to every comment within the first 24 or 48 hours after they release the video. So it rewards the people who are watching, those are probably your subscribers, reward them with replying to them and keeping them most engaged. People who watch your video six months later, it might just be too much to answer all those comments. So I'd go in here and I've actually gone through and, and worked on these comments already. And you can actually set it by newest first, newest first. I think it's working three weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, set it to newest first so that you're seeing the newest people that are popping up. And you could also look at the, the top comments because then you can kind of see what's bubbling up and you might wanna take part in those conversations and then just move on to say, okay, well, I'm gonna do the most, the two most recent videos, the one most recent video, however you want to do it. Uh, the other thing to check here, um, sorry, all videos, there we go is that we have this held for review and likely spam. So I usually check that out every week or two. This one looks like it's not spam. It's talking, this is about a jump cuts. So I'm not sure why YouTube flagged this as spam, but I can approve that comment. Um, check out my channel. Um, that does look like spam. Oh wait, I didn't ask them to subscribe. It's their choice or they subscribe or not. I'm not quite sure. I might, I might want to dig into that one a little bit. This one definitely looks like spam. So let's, you know, uh, call that spam. Uh, 
and I'm not sure about that one. I'm just going to delete that one because it's not really clear. So that's what you need to do with comments. Just get in there, like I said, at least once a week, interact with your audience, and uh, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. So there it is. Use the comment section to grow your channel. And now I'd like you to grow my channel in the comment section. Please leave a comment down below or click subscribe to get my weekly tips for people using YouTube to grow their business. Or you could subscribe and leave a comment. Maybe leave a comment that says you subscribe.